Yeah, look, I'm, I'm really proud to be here. I know how much the club means to the fans and I think my sort of work ethic um, should match that and, and they should take to me in that sense. So yeah, I'm obviously looking forward to, to pulling the shirt on and, and walking out of Turf Moor. Dara, welcome to Burnley. How does it feel? Uh, it feels great. Really nice to be here. Um, really excited to get going. Give us a brief timeline then. When did you first know that you would be coming here? Uh, well, I kind of heard rumblings at the end of the end of last season, and it's kind of been ongoing now for for a couple of weeks. So, uh, yeah, obviously, when you're in the moment, it, it feels like for ages. So, I'm I'm happy to be here now. How big an influence, given the position that you play, was Vincent Company? Perhaps in you coming here? Yeah, look, it's a no-brainer to to come and want to work under someone like him, and obviously. His career as a footballer as well as a player um, was outstanding and someone that I would have looked up to as well coming through and stuff. So, yeah, look, I'm really excited to be here and, and I want to learn a lot from him and, and his coach and stuff. Sad to leave West Brom? Yeah, it's, it, it's a tough one for me. I've, I've been at West Brom for eight years. You know, I've, I've come through since I was 16 and I've, I've done really well for myself there. Um, you know, it was a huge, huge decision to, to make that move still for me, but um, I think one that's best for me in my career. You obviously played in the Championship last season as well. How closely were you aware of what Burnley or how well Burnley were doing? I don't suppose you could miss it, could you? No, that's it. You, you couldn't miss it. Um, I mean, Burnley were the outstanding team last season and they achieved exceptional things. And yeah, obviously that's down to a lot of what was going on um, on the training ground here. And obviously I spoke to Josh and Michael. I know them both quite well. and. Yeah, I could I could see uh, how good a project it was here, and obviously speaking for, speaking to them, I understand um, how well you did last season. You know, it it really came hand in hand. Yeah, you were together at the Aviva, weren't you, on Monday night for that Gibraltar game? Was, was the chat? Did you have much of a chat about Burnley? Yeah, I've been speaking to them about quietly, you know, in the corner, just kind of seeing seeing how things were at the club, and obviously letting them know that there was a possibility of me coming here and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, they were uh, they they were still a big factor in me coming here as well. Yeah. How would you describe you then? What sort of player are you? Uh, well, first of all, I'm a defender. I like to defend. Um, you know, I've grown up in Ireland playing Gaelic football and that, so I'm, I'm, I'm aggressive. I like to be on the front foot and I like to play football as well. You know, I really like to get the ball down and pass and play through the thirds and like to start off attacks and progress the team. So that's something that I'll be, uh, I'll be looking to do here. Predominantly central defender. I know you can play on the right as well, can't you? Yeah, predominantly a centre, a central defender. That's my my favourite position. But I've played all over the back four and in the, in, in midfield as well in my career. So it's 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 not something that I'm not unusual to. Just in terms of the GAA stuff that you mentioned in there, because a few lads have come through who've played that, and it and it does give you different different facets, doesn't it, in terms of your football? What would you say with the the positive? And how old were you when you when you eventually stopped playing? Uh, literally a couple of weeks before I moved to West Brom is right. when I stopped playing. So yeah, that was obviously a big part of my upbringing and kind of shaped me into the, the player I am today as well. You know, I get that aggressiveness side and I suppose the hard work and uh, kind of ruthless side to me too, um, which is something I'm really proud of. You know, I'm really proud of my, my heritage and my roots. Whereabouts in Dublin are you from? I'm from Temple Oak, so the south side of the city. So uh, St Jude's would have been my, my Gaelic team there. Yeah. yeah. And St Kevin's, I think, was your youth soccer team yeah. as well, wasn't it? Just in terms of as a kid growing up, big soccer fans across there, who, who would have been your team? Did you have one? Uh, I didn't really have a team, but I think in Ireland you were either United or Liverpool and it kind of depended where your mates were. So I think I followed United more so. Um, maybe don't tell the manager that. Yeah, yeah, maybe not. Maybe <laughs> let's leave that one there, yeah. <laughs> what do you want to achieve here at Burnley? How do you see your future? I want to improve as a player, first and foremost, and I want to help the club. Um, achieve their goals and you know push up and and be a competitive a competitive team in the Premier League um, I'm at the stage of my career now where I want to push myself and I want to want to try to be the best I can be and I think this is a club that can help me do that and also I can help help them too and I know you've had a taste of the Premier League before Would, did that make you even more desperate to get back there again yeah definitely 100% I mean since since we dropped out of the Premier League it's always been a, an aim of mine to get back there and you know Unfortunately, it didn't happen with West Brom, but I'm here now in the position I am. And yeah, obviously that time there really pushed me on as well. I saw, I saw the potential of, of, of what I could progress to in the league. And yeah, it's the best league in the world. You want to play against the best players, so I'm all for that. What, are, what were your memories, if you've had any particular ones from, from playing in the top flight? I think just playing against the, the calibre of opponent. Um, you know, each week you're playing against top class players. 
I think that's really the, the difference, you know, you're playing against some great managers who set up tactically to maybe ways you might see in the championship, but obviously the player aspect is a, is a huge thing. You want to test yourself against the, the best opponents. And have you had a look at the fixtures? Are you aware of the first few? I have, yeah. I saw the first fixture anyway, yeah. And it's, they're the games you want to play in, you know. Um, as a footballer, that's what you want to test yourselves against. So it's a, it's a great test. Just finally then, in terms of the fans coming and they'll be getting excited, seeing your face and the first time that maybe you, you pull on that, that Burnley shirt as well. Have you got any, any message to, to new supporters perhaps? Yeah, look, I'm, I'm really proud to be here. I know how much the club means to the fans and I think my sort of work ethic um, should match that and, and they should take to me in that sense. So yeah, I'm obviously looking forward to, to pulling the shirt on and, and walking out of turf more. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you.